Okay, so we're, we're here at uh, WPRK, and we have a couple of fellows here that uh, they, they have a radio show that's on uh, from 4 o'clock to 5 on Thursdays, and we're going to have them tell us a little bit about the radio show. And, and uh, which, what's your name? I am Austin David. Nice. And I'm Ken Jackson, and we started the Community Sports Report in 2012, so we've been going for pretty 12 years strong uh, on Thursdays. Um, actually, I started with, with uh, a guy called J.C. Carnahan, who is, uh, um, moved on a couple times, and we just, we, hyper-local, Orlando sports, uh, high school, college, pro, um, breaking it down, um, unlike pretty much anybody else in this media market. Um, cause there, there's, there's plenty, I mean, we're on a campus of Rollins College, you got UCF, and then you've got, uh, basically three bona fide pro teams of Magic, Orlando City, Pride. The, uh, the Pride, uh, Orlando Solar Bears, the hockey team. Um, so there's 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 quite a bit to talk about on, on a weekly basis uh, here, just in Orlando, as far as sports. Yeah, we have a hard time fill, <laughs> filling an hour. Yeah, yeah well, 90 minutes would be perfect. Yeah, it, it's honestly, <laughs> so, we, have, we feel like we have to rush through things a lot. But um, I went talking with, you know, for Ken, like, I was a Rollins College student when they were starting the show. They needed somebody to talk about Rollins basketball, and I was part of the basketball team at the time. So... Um, I stepped into radio and, and that kind of launched my career as someone in sports journalism, uh, doing stuff for ESPN eventually, uh, doing play-by-play -play for them and uh, now working for Orlando City as their digital content manager. So, um, you know, it, it all kind of started in this area back in 2013 is when I started Yeah, yeah you came on yeah. A, little, yeah, a little after we started, about a year in. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's been a whirlwind. To say the least. Right. And my, I mean, my background's been in sports journalism. I've been a, a, a sports reporter here in, uh, in Osceola County uh, for many, many years. Uh, it's, that, that's a game that's kind of uh, changed fast. I'm now the, the editor down there at the Osceola News Gazette. Uh, but my heart's still in sports. Um, you know, I played. Um, I've lived in I've lived in this area since the '80s. I, I remember when the Orlando Magic played their first game. I remember when the Orlando City played their first game. Um, you know, when, when UCF was, you know, a small struggling sports program on the east side of town that, that if you were a fan of UCF, well, that was nice, but you're, you were really a Gator or a Seminole or a Hurricane fan back in, back in the 80s and 90s. So we've seen this, uh, you and I have both seen this market just kind of explode as far as sports, college, pro, I mean, even high school. I mean, I mean high school football, it's, I mean... High school football in the state of Florida is king, and, and then Central Florida just doubles down on it, and and so you know. I mean, we, even in the last ten years, like who would have thought that we would have a soccer-specific stadium in downtown Orlando ten years ago when we started privately playing? funded? Right. Yeah. It it just wasn't something that was on anybody's radar. Right. Time. Right. In fact, I believe when this no no the when when did the, the new building open the, the seventeen okay so. No, the, 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 I'm talking about the arena. Oh, am I? Yeah. It was about 2012. Okay, yeah, so it was... No, yeah. no it, was, it was 2010, because okay. I was just starting here. Okay, okay, but I, I can tell you the, the old Orlando arena then became the Amway arena, um, seeing, gosh, uh, I, I, I've seen hockey, the, the old, well, I shouldn't say the old Orlando Predators, but, you know, the new Orlando Predators, it's, it's different, in, uh, arena football, but I saw them play there. Um, I've seen I've seen indoor soccer played there. I've seen lacrosse played there. Um, we've had Orlando. You know, it's it's a I would say it's a bona fide sports town now. But there was a time when every minor league thing that come out of the woodwork had to come to Orlando and give it a shot. Um, you know, you, we we you, have roller hockey at, at, at the old building. Did so. you see when the Bucks and um, over in what Edgewater? Edgewater High School and the Bucks and the uh, Dolphins played. They had like a scrimmage or something. I know the Bucks and the Dolphins remember. played a, a preseason played preseason games at um, at what's what's now Camping World before, before they renovated that. Yeah, um, yeah the Citrus Bowl was so cool. That, it's place, that place was a work in progress, yeah. and they, yeah. they they've, they've redone it, and now we're gonna spend another hundred ninety million dollars on it. Apparently, and um, the most notable thing from the old Citrus Bowl was the fact that it was in the Water Boy. That was the most like notable this, thing out of anybody. <laughs> this, nope. this is true. Well, there were there were World Cup games there in nineteen ninety four, which I was there for as yeah. as a like three year old. Year old. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember much, but I have a picture of me there. So I did not get to attend any of those games, but I did have a pass to, to for, for for downtown, 
and oh god, partying with the Dutch and the Irish. Whew! <laughs> I'm gonna tip my hat to those Church guys. Church Street, yeah. yeah. Yes. Afterwards, yep. yep. When when the when the town hall had a soccer ball on top of it. Wow. Yes. I was that was back in the day. Gotcha. Yeah. And then we had uh, you know when when the Orlando Magic made the made the NBA Finals back in '95 and in 2009, um, one of the few times that the entire city got behind something. <laughs> So, um, so we've, I, I, I know I speak for me when I say that I've seen a lot in, uh, in, in Orlando as far as sports and, and a coming of age. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been around a lot less than you, but I've, I've still seen, like, the pinnacle of Orlando sports and its growth. Because, I, obviously, you know, I was around in the 90s watching the Magic grow, but since then, it's not just UCF, it's not just Orlando City, it's, it's the Pride and, and all of the other various sports that have come through here. Uh, to keep people's interests, you know, right. it's, it's, I mean, the sheer amount of, of high school and college sports that come through here as, as tournaments throughout, you know, yeah. various times of the year, yeah, what, every, the amount of, like, hosts, yeah. you know, tons of stuff, and it's, it's, a, it's a hub for sports, and right. not many people realize how much sport comes through Orlando, whether it is Disney or whether it is, you know, uh, actually, at the situation. Like, it's funny you, you mentioned that because I, I was at Sports Journal. In fact, I wish I'd brought that on the, on the yeah. show. That, that sport, it was that somebody at Sports Journal named Orlando as the the number one sports destination. In, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if it was in, in, in the, the country. country or the world. It was wow. yeah. uh, because you know you've got you've got a, a, a great airport mm-hmm. here. Um, Pretty and, central. And, yeah, and you, uh, well, I mean the traffic's terrible, but I mean you're at the. Orlando, it's basically where the, where the Florida Turnpike and I four cross. Mm-hmm. So you, can, if you can get to Orlando, you can get to anywhere else. Or yeah. if you're anywhere else, you can get to Orlando. Mm-hmm. Um, just plan extra time. Uh, but yeah, you, you've got all the venues at Disney, and then you've got fairly new venues here in downtown. Uh, the now the now the Kia Center, but um, uh, Intern Co. Mm-hmm. Stadium. Um, you know UCF is going to be upgrading their their facilities here. With, you know with the influx of, of of Big Twelve money. I mean, yeah. What when I when I started watching UCF games in the late eighties, they were a Division two program. Now they're in one of the biggest conferences in the country, and and generating millions of dollars and it's just it, it's it's the number one attended school in the entire country it, did, it, did it just pass arizona state it's either one or number two okay it, it's, it's, it's very up, close it's yeah yeah the, Vama, arizona state and ohio state are like a, a real tight one two mm-hmm. three so um but yeah it's been it, it's been it's been quite a ride i mean you know you're f- i well are you, would you say you're from here yeah okay what a race okay because i'm originally from philadelphia which is a complete another class of of sports town uh, and uh, it, it, from where this t- this town was, maybe the the eighties or nineties, it was yeah. Like I said, it's all uh, th- this. It's cute to root for the Magic or root for UCF, but you're really rooting for your number one team as somebody else. Um, now it's you know I, I you know I don't, these are your these are your teams. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 stamp on your butt, boom, and you're you're you know you're a Magic <laughs> fan. You're a Knight. You're you know you're something like. Well, that. I mean. Orlando City kind of does that, not the stamping, but they do. When when kids are born at Orlando Health, they get little Orlando City jersey jumpers that they wear in the NICU, whatever, okay. when they're first oh, born. Cool. It, it's, it's basically... Like, at Winnie Palmer? No, at, okay. at Orlando okay. Health. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I thought... I thought, I thought, I thought anyway. It might be... It's right, right next to it. Yeah. 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 It might be part of the whole complex, but I know that okay. yeah. that was that's a thing okay. that we've been doing for years and years now. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Kids are born at Winnie Palmer, right? Well, thank it might, you it might be just some my kids are just born at the wrong time, yeah. but, you know. I've got terrible. Time. It might it might be home opener stuff anyway. <laughs> there you go. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, thank you guys so much. So so every it's every Thursday four o'clock to five o'clock. Four or five. WPRK. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And do you guys podcast uh, the shows or anything? It's all on Facebook. So every every show right. is recorded on there. Right. We do it live on Facebook. Um, cool. So that people can listen yeah, live and then yeah, also yeah, have the community a, sports report and then. Um, and then, and then what, what's the what's the Twitter or the X? It's <laughs> CSR Orlando. Yep. CSR Orlando. Cool. Yeah. When we actually post on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks for your time, and yeah, we'll tune in next week. Thank you. Thanks. thanks. Take care.